Our brains are so cool. They are literally our master control center composed of billions of neurons that are endlessly communicating. Everything that we do and feel comes from this noodle of ours, and so why wouldn't we exercise it just as much as our physical structure? For years, we've been encouraged to stay physically active, to increase our chances of living, and to avoiding various diseases. We have also been told to eat well, to get a lot of sleep, and to rest, but what about brain fitness, which is also known as neurobics? My goal in the next few minutes is to give you some suggestions of little tasks and just some plain old fun that you can do every day to help build that neuroplasticity in your brain. And pay attention, there'll be a few brain fitness exercises throughout to help you start on building that neuroplasticity in your huge cranium. Also known as the melon. It receives messages from and sends messages to all organs and tissues in our body. It controls both voluntary and involuntary activities, and the brain gives us the ability to learn, to reason, and to feel. Science is continuously unlocking many of the mysteries of the brain, and research is showing that the brain is constantly improving itself. In fact, there are physical brain changes that occurs every time we learn something new, and this is referred to as brain plasticity or neuroplasticity. Most of us haven't thought much about the function of the mind and brain in physical terms at all, except, of course, those dull anatomy lessons in school. But when engaged in new learning and experiences, the brain establishes neural pathways, which are roots made of intercommunicating neurons, kind of like a superhighway. These roots are created in the brain through learning and practice, much like a mountain path is created with daily use. For me, it hasn't really been about boosting brain power. It is more about sustaining brain power. I don't really like the thought of losing anything I have, and if I gain a little by doing things that will sustain what I have, then that's the icing on the cake. The trick, therefore, is to take new challenges that are not way too difficult or too impossible. So try something new every day, no matter how little. Take a different route to work, ask a different question in a meeting. Every time you open a new, every time you open a new circuit in your brain, it's like doing a round of mental sit-ups, except it doesn't hurt so much. So challenge your brain. Change the way you usually do a task, such as brushing your teeth or brushing your hair with your less dominant hand. Play games to challenge your mind. Chess, cards, puzzles, crossword puzzles, memory games, just to name a few. The use it or lose it saying may be misleading if we think that it is just one thing. Doing a crossword puzzle actually only activates a small portion of your brain. And good brain fitness includes novelty, variety, and constant challenge, really not that different from cross-training our bodies. Many memory experts view the workings of the brain, of the mind, to be similar to a muscle and propose that exercise will serve to build and strengthen it. As such, your memory is adaptive, it's pliable, and can be shaped. But this shaping takes on some energy and some dedication. So we can't really talk about brain fitness unless we talk a little bit about memory. As we know, memory is profoundly powerful. Unfortunately, this power creates a negative side of the memory coin. The power of memory also creates a fear that within many of us that we will one day be without it. We know that it's common to have memory changes associated with normal aging. On the other hand, there are memory impairments that come in many different forms and usually depend on the areas of the brain that are affected by disease or injury. Traditional ideas about the brain suggested that once we reached adulthood, our brains didn't change very much, except to slowly deteriorate with age or with disease or injury. It was this original understanding of the brain that suggested we couldn't actually influence its health and well-being, and there wasn't a lot of advice on how to keep our brains healthy. But all of that is changing thanks to modern neuroscience. We now know that the brain is not fixed and frozen in adulthood. If you want stronger muscles, you lift weights. And if you want a stronger brain, a stronger brain, one that's able to maintain concentration and avoid distractions, give your brain a workout of its own. So here's an example of an optical illusion. There are three faces in this optical illusion. Can you see all three of them? Maybe? Maybe not? As a matter of fact, the brain continues to develop, change, recognize its function, and even grow. So like I suggested before, use that thing that's encased in your skull cap. Challenge it every single day. Pursue a new interest, learn a new language, learn a new instrument, or play a new instrument, take a course, enjoy old and new hobbies, and of course, maybe some daily optical illusions. Is this a duck, or is this a rabbit? The great news is that memory is a skill that can be sharpened and improved at any age, and that forgetfulness is not a hopeless problem that comes with age. So give your memory a workout. Keep your mind active. The brain fitness activities suggested in this presentation tonight are only but an ounce of what you can do to keep your mind active with Say it with me, people. Neurobics! Thank you.